Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing and going over the Digimon Figurize Standard War Greymon model kit, which was the build for this month's model kit, Build Club. So, just quickly looking over the model, we can see that this kit is much more based on the look that War Greymon has in the anime, rather than having a more mech-based design, which we've seen in the Amplified series, which I will compare it with shortly. This figure is a decent size for a figure and it's fairly easy to pose and doesn't fall apart when trying to do so. The kit comes together rather nicely and there aren't too many stickers other than what appears on the wings. There also aren't any extras such as attachments to allow for the wings to be displayed as a shield on the arms like on the Amplified kit, but I don't mind this too much. The wings itself boast movement on the manual and on the box but they don't really move around too much and are merely just to be adjusted very slightly for different poses. Basically the two parts together or slightly parted are your options here. I mentioned in my Magnamon model kit review video that I'm a big fan of the non-amplified model kits. They're quicker and smaller builds but that doesn't mean that they're lacking in detail at all. They're actually fun to build and it's nice to have a figure that's accurate to the show rather than having something that's more aligned to the mechs that we usually see in Gunpla model kits. They're not needlessly detailed, for example, only one part of Wargreymon's fist is actually modelled and visible in this figure, but it still feels detailed enough without going overboard, which the Amplified kits tend to do. Now comparing it with the Amplified Wargreymon really shows how different the two are. The wings are two solid pieces, rather than the several separate pieces coming together that we see in the Amplified version. However, weirdly the red tubes on the chest look more detailed on the regular version compared to the Amplified one. This kit seems to have more in common with actual the Shoto series, which is not a model kit but is similar-ish in design. The colours on the model kit are a lot less bright and flashy, which I actually prefer though. Overall, I do love the simple and quick builds, that the non-simplified series brings. They're not huge in size and aren't overly complicated and busy in their designs. I also prefer them having their anime designs rather than the more mech-based ones. And that was it for my review on the non-amplified War Greymon. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of the uh, non-amplified series and I'm honestly hoping that we get more of these. I'm surprised that we don't have a non-amplified Omegamon because Bandai loves Omegamon and loves bringing out Omegamon based model kits and toys and figures. So I'm actually surprised that we don't have a standard Omegamon, but knowing my luck it'll probably be announced between me recording this video and me actually releasing this video. So maybe that'll be confirmed between then. Who knows, but I'm honestly surprised we don't have the non-amplified Omegamon yet because we have a lot of non-amplified now and I honestly hope that Bandai continues on with the non-amplified figures rather than the amplified ones. I just prefer the look of them. I feel like the amplified ones are too big and they have too much detail and they, yeah, they're too mech-based. They don't really feel as Digimon as the other figures, if, if that makes sense. But that does track for model kits, so that that's not that's not too much to complain about. And anyway, so next month, so that is for the month of July, we'll be building the Digimon Figure Eye Standard Beelzemon, another fairly new kit. As always, I recommend checking out Hobby Link Japan to get these model kits. That's where I get all of mine. I pre-order them basically as soon as they come up, and then Hobby Link Japan sends them out once. They've arrived basically. So Jeff, definitely check out Hobby Link Japan. This video is not sponsored or anything by them. I just really love Hobby Link Japan. I've been using them for a number of years. They also have Tamagotchi and Digimon stuff. So they really should be sponsoring me because I do, I do give them a lot of my money. But in any case, that was this month's build. Let me know how you went with this build. If you also liked it as much as I do, or maybe you prefer the amplified ones, let me know in the comments. And of course, check out our Discord server because we do have the model kit channel there. So you can compare your, uh, your shots and maybe show us some cool poses that you can do with your model kits each month. And of course, it's not limited to just what we're building each month. 
You can also share any model kits that you've built or you are building. It's all a bit of the fun, so check that out if you haven't already. So like this video if you also think that the non-amplified ones are pretty cool or just if you want to make me smile, I don't know. And subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, I'll see you on the next video. Bye!